Anna Simpson, our Tree Music Channel, and I just wanted to show you a place called the Fountains. Absolutely packed today in this heat wave of England. Who would have thought it was going to come? Here behind me, we have a prominent statue of Zeus. And um, yeah, it's a sort of mythology and character. And Bristol's got a lot of this sort of theme, this Grecian kind of flavour of life and arts and music and theatre. Um, yeah, it's wonderful. Uh, Behind me over there, I have the Hippodrome Theatre, which is screening, um, currently doing the Rocky Horror Show, uh, Hairspray, and, and a show called Save the Last Dance, which I might go to, set in the 50s with a sort of rock and roll theme. There's the sightseeing bus there behind me. People all around this will see sights. Yeah, it's lovely. And, um, yeah, I'm off to the St. Paul's the Carnival. See Bristol, England, England via the bus. A lovely way to travel. There we go. Beautiful trees there in the background. Uh, just cruising along nicely here. Graffiti there in the background. Another random statue of uh, one of the city's founders or something that you know about. There's a guy on a horse somewhere around here. Just wait and see. Mm, not quite sure where. <sighs> but yeah, it's wonderful city. Trees. Loving the sun, it's amazing. Yeah, so um, the fountains that we just went past before, that's like Bristol's version of the beach. In an earlier post on uh, swimming in those fountains, I think I'll post it. Well, not swimming, but just kind of paddling. And I met a guy from New Zealand and he said, Oh, uh, he was there at the time and he said, Oh, you're embarrassed yet? And I was like, No, it's no shame. And, Having fun, you've got to let alone. So, yeah, it's on the block. Some people might think this was a manic expression of life, but you know, anything's better than being all grim and depressed like the winter was. When it comes sunny, you have to just go for it. Get your vitamin D intake there. Got the sails over here. The Primark, kind of England's superstore, which is uh, quite cheap and accessible to people in a not a real expensive income. There's quite a few like, different uh, chain stores, and it goes from like kind of not as expensive to more expensive. And um, the, the stuff is very much the same in each one, probably really maybe more refined materials and the more expensive stuff. I don't know. Anyway, I'm often shopping at the charity shops because you can get great things like this little gold jacket I've got for next to nothing. I got this with a, a gold skirt for £9. It's fabulous. I got a pink jacket by um, uh, David Emanuel who designed <laughs> Diana's wedding dress. Ooh, Diana, princess. For £5 and I felt very excited about that. Um, yeah, so go to England charity shops. Anyway, I'll stop filming because we should really wait for the festival to get the action there. Kakiti, I know, see you later.